Yo, it's another beautiful day to learn something new. And today we'll be talking about, in fact, it's a question we'll be answering. Can you become rich? Bila kujua nyotayako. So sit back, relax, and forget your worries because whatever it is that is stressing you can and shall be fixed. Now, come I leave your story if this is your first time watching my videos. Ama you've been watching my videos, now just subscribe. Wacha tukupatia sekunde tano. Kuombe kwa moyo mkunjufu, ufinya hapa mali kumiandiko subscribe. There's a place hapa chini kumiandiko subscribe. Kama yako badu imiandiko subscribe, guza hapo ikuwe subscribed. Kama yako imiandiko subscribed, huko sawa, kwa na wasi wasi, tuendele na lesson yetu ya leo. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yay! Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Barikiwe sana by the way. Now, what have you got in Uliza? Unongianga sana story ya nyota. Nyota, nyota, nyota usiku na mchana. Kwa ni uboe kangi? Na isi manyoto unongeleanga? Can I become rich bila kuzijua? So here is the truth. The society that we live in, uh, from especially even with the church, tumefika maali sasa, eh, pesa ndiyo tunakonsida kama baraka. Mtu mwenye kona pesa, ondo tunakonsida mebarikiwa. Mtu mwenyana pesa, we don't see you ni kama umebarikiwa. Mtu mwenyana teseka, mtu mwenyana kona madeni, in our eyes, uyo mtu wajabarikiwa. So money has become a blessing. And because everybody wants to be seen as blessed, everybody wants to be respected, everybody wants a good life, sisi wote tunakimbiza a good life. And that is one of the reasons why watu wengi sana wanapenda kusikia stories a nyota. Kwa zunambiango, ukipata nyota yako, you're going to be rich, you're going to get money, you'll be respected. However, you don't need nyota yako to become rich. There are so many ways to become rich. Become a politician, you'll become very rich. These guys make millions every month. These guys steal millions every month. And of just a jackpot. I've seen guys winning hundreds of millions from jackpots. And of kue mwizi. And of fanya job. And of tafta job. Tafta job yenye nalipapua. And of takua rich. Anza biashara, na watu wakubali, uzia watu kituwe nyo nataka, na watu wataikubali. And you'll become rich. You see, when it becomes, when it comes to being rich financially, awitaji nyota yako. What you need is money. Money is what will make you financially rich. And in our society today, it doesn't matter how you make, you make money. Shida ni DCI. Wewe uki manage kupita na pitana na DCI, Whichever way you make money, you, you nishida yako. <laughs> the, only, the only thing you're supposed to be worried about ni DCI. Wee fanya anything utafanya, bora wee na DCI msikutane kona mbaya. Nasema ni imu waka tulisema ni maombi, ka ukora kidogo, sijui ni nini, ni, ni. there are all those things. So there are many ways to get rich. Can you even join a cult? There are so many ways to get rich. As I've told you before, kujua nyota yako is not about material wealth. Kujua nyota yako is about fulfilling your purpose and reaching your destiny. Kujua nyota yako is about fulfilling your purpose and reaching your destiny. It's only that the moment you kujua nyota yako and you know the path that you're supposed to be on and you stick to that path, you're going to get lots of good opportunities, you're going to get lots of favor and lots of grace. Big doors will open for you. You will sit before kings. You will stand before kings. And definitely, you are able to make money. Because purpose comes with provision. These opportunities will come with money. These doors that will open, of course, will put you in places where you can make money. You might, not, you might never become the richest person in the world. You might not become a multi-billionaire. But you will have enough for you to share with others. And to save something for your children. Auta kosa ka inheritance ka dogo utachia watoto wako. Auta kama nika 50 by 100. Because staying on your path. Kujua nyota yako and staying on your path is rewarding. No matter the challenges that you will go on on that path. At the end of the day unakuangu kijua ini shuwa bet. So. Shida ni. Wuna taka kujua nyota yako sazenye already kukoma deni. 
utakujua nyota yako sasa zenye familia yako ime collapse utakujua nyota yako when nothing is working in your life and then unakuja hapa tunakwambia okay hii ndio nyota yako you need to do this you need to do this you need to learn this you need to work on this unaanza kujamu unaanza kuona ni kama hii kitu ni fake cause au oh, oh, ijamaliza mashida zako instantly so sometimes si ati ni nyota una ni ku understand or understand nyota yako ina require huko unafanya nini au juu office gani you don't know what is required of you at that particular time so unaona hii story ni kama ina waste ya time unaenda kutafuta connections connections ndio connections zingine zao work a lot of connections work and you'll become rich but you forget kukua kujua nyota was never about becoming rich it was about fulfilling your purpose what did god bring you on this world to do are you having are you making the impact that you're supposed to be making because hizo vitu zinakuletea peace of mind kuna watu wakona pesa mingi sana but they don't have peace of mind so mtu lazima akuwa akikimbizana na wasichana lazima akuwa akifuatana na watu wanaenda kununulia watu wengine pombe because that person cannot stand being alone they feel like they have demons in their minds kwa mtu kwake anavurugana na bibi na watoto kila siku kazini hata kuna mtu anampenda that guy has to force himself in social circles that guy drinks like a fish yes akona pesa but ana amani and 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 it does not mean that he, i'm not against riches usianza kusema ati oh nini kabla upate kabla useme sg nini nini a a kuna watu wako na pesa na wako na amani somebody who stuck on their path mtu mwenye alijua nyota yake and they stuck with it and became very rich that person is very peaceful they have peace of mind they are happy they are satisfied kuna mwingine alikimbiza pesa na zile njia alikimbiza nazo ni manjia ziko na mashida kuna mtu na pesa mingi alikimbiza pesa through corrupt means size ameishi kotini pesa zake zimefreeze huyu mtu akona depression kila siku anampoa kesho tunaenda kotini cause unaweza fika pale hivi jaja amuelewe urudi home freedom yako iko on the line yes you have the money but you are not enjoying the people who have money but the means in which you used to get that money to become rich you have to stay you have to keep creating stories and lies every day you live a life yenye hata ina amani you have no peace of mind you're not satisfied you're not settled so you have to use that money to try and numb your pain have to use that money to look for validation you have to look you have to spend that money to buy friendships you have to use that money to be accepted ngine ni rituals mnafanya but somebody who followed the right way they followed their purpose walijua nyota hapa aliko wakafuata hiyo path those people even when they become rich they are very happy they are very settled hakuna mtu anamkimbiza pesa yake iliingia the right way hakuna pesa ameficha chini ya matrix pesa iko kwa banki kwa kwa mpesa anaweza transact whichever way anataka aogopi watu kujua kwenye ako na pesa cause anajua nyota yake inakuja na pa, inakuja na, pro, na provision na inakuja na protection so anajua hata hiyo wealth yake iko protected so you can become rich bila kujua nyota yako and you don't have to do the wrong things but she at the end of the day uta, hata kama you earned that money the right way kuna mali itafika uanze ku feel kuna kitu there's something that is missing in your life and if you're not careful a lot of people go looking for that thing in other places unaanza kuoa bibi mwingine you change your hobbies you start making new friends who you want to, to accept in their circles unaanza kujiekelea charity na maybe that's not even where nyota yako ilikuwa you start looking for something you know unasikia kuna ka kitu kama ubaki ndani yako Yes you can make money bila kujua nyota yako you become rich and then when you reach that level uh you can do a reading or you can look in, you can introspect and look into your life kujua nyota yako and you follow it and it will be okay So it doesn't mean that every time you get money lazima ukose uh, lazima kitumbai kufanyikie It's only that utafika mahali usikie now like you need a change in your life there is something that you need Now a lot of people when especially na uko ma 40s that late 30s 40s 50s not wanna fikanga mali yes you have the money but you still feeling like uh uh-uh. kuna kitu haiko mali and that's how many people fall into midlife crisis 
So the whole purpose of kujua nyotako is not to become rich. Is to find peace of mind, satisfaction, have an impact in this life, build something that is bigger than yourself, serve and fulfill your purpose. That is the reason why unafaa kujua nyotako. Otherwise, if all, you are, if all you want is money, there are so many ways to make money. There are so many ways to get rich, both legal and illegal. And you can do it. So come on, all you want is better. You, you don't have to struggle. But if you want to build something that's greater than yourself, you want to create impact, you want peace of mind, you want satisfaction, if you want fulfillment in your life, then is something that you must do.